Hey everyone, welcome back to some more esports talk. Over the weekend, we had Arcane, that is the League of Legends show, finally premiere on Netflix. It's been teased for quite a while at this point, and we got to see some pretty wild success that I feel like we haven't really been able to see in the video game TV series industry so far. The show actually debuted at number one on Netflix, dethroning Squid Game, which debuted at number one in 37 different countries. Even just when comparing the different Rotten Tomatoes ratings, we've seen previous shows based off of games like Dota rate 75%, Dragon's Dogma sit at 83%, and even Castlevania only being at 94%. Whereas Arcane is at 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. Now, to me, this is incredibly impressive, and I think a lot of it goes to show just how much effort Riot put into this series. Of course, the animation and all the work done on it is incredible on its own, but then you look at all the marketing that they did and the really smart ways they involved a lot of different people. We saw references to the game with Fortnite and some collaborations there. You could play as Jinx, but we also saw PUBG have collabs with it. So get different game audiences involved. You even had Valorant, of course, the easiest one for them to do because both are owned by Riot already. So that was easy to see a collaboration there. But then going forward, we also saw them work with a lot of different people. One of the biggest and best ideas, in my opinion, was that the first episode of the show was able to be co-streamed by anyone on Twitch. So any single person could take their audience and watch that first episode. Then there was also specific creators from different countries. I think it was something like 40 plus countries represented who were able to co-stream any of the three first episodes from the series. Speaking of that, that's also a very ingenious way to release a show where they're doing it in acts. And so these first three episodes released on their own, people are freaking out about them and want more, they want more, they want more. And so then they wait for that next act, the next three episodes to release. And that's kind of how they're segmenting it. So it just generates more and more hype. Along with this, they also had the massive premiere, which I thought was really cool. They did this like a real movie premiere instead of just releasing it on Netflix and hoping it did well. At this premiere, we got to see some A-list celebrities there as well, not just streamers, where we saw Haley Steinfeld actually show up and say, hey, just losing my mind at the Arcane premiere, what are you doing? And even Linkin Park's Mike Shinoda being at the premiere itself. Of course, to no one's surprise, we saw a lot of different content creators from all over being at the premiere and dressed up and posting their pictures, whether that was Stella Chu, Tyler One and Kayla, Chrissy Costanza, or the entire OTV crew. We also got basically everyone and their mother who wasn't even at the premiere tweeting about the show and talking about just how good and how impressed they were with it we saw courage saying just watch the first three episodes of arcane holy crap i need more right now lily saying holy poop arcane is one of the best things i've ever watched it's only the first three episodes arcane is 10 out of 10 i had high expectations for arcane and it still surpassed them that was incredible and i mean the list goes on and on with pretty much just everyone talking about it for an entire day to me this is a step in the right direction for video games branching into other media which riot has been focused on for a very long time of course they've branched into music already having different albums on spotify as these individual groups like kda has their own music listed as albums and so hopefully this will bring in a new draw of players maybe players who just watch the show and then get interested in it and decide to play league of legends or even just go on wild rift the mobile version of it now and so i expect to see a draw in and new players and hopefully that helps feed the environment and get people high for the different professional scenes. I don't know where it will end up, but it has certainly done a lot better than any other show that we have seen based off of a video game. So congratulations to Riot Games there. If you have watched the show, let me know what you think about it. I personally enjoyed it a lot. I'm a big fan of different animations and I thought the animation in this show was really unique and really beautiful. So let me know what you guys think about it. And until next time, I'll catch you later.